I'm going to demonstrate the new lathe here with all the upgrades. Um, so I'm still waiting. Uh, well, first of all, let me just say that uh, th this, uh, the amp and the voltmeter, that works on up to 30 volts, and our power supply is 24 volts. Um, the tachometer runs on, I think it's um, 8 to 15 volts, which is half, and I've got this wire supplying the power right now. Um, so if we come over here, I'll turn on the 12 volt power supply to get the tack to come on. You'll see that here. Okay. Uh, I've ordered a different controller. If you look at this one, it's only 22 volts. So I'm afraid if I put 26 or 27 volts, it will blow it up. So I've ordered a different one that runs from, uh, I think, 5 to 35 input. And then the output can give me somewhere around 12 volts. So uh, I'll look for that. We'll do that installation. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the 24 volt power supply now. And you'll hear the beeping. And the beeping is coming from the, uh, the uh, ESC, the Skywalker 60 amp ESC. You see the power supplies uh, supplying 24.5 volts and uh, 0.03 amps. That's just to probably run the speed controller. And then uh, just to give you a quick demonstration here. Uh, we'll, we'll spin it up a little bit, and I've done this before, but I, I just want to give you a, a thorough demonstration. I don't have all the screws in. As soon as I get the uh, the power, uh, the, the what is it called, the DC-DC buck converter, I'll get this all packaged up and I'll screw it together. But anyways, we'll turn this up. And I got this in low gear right now. Um, you can see the RPM, 250 RPM. I think about the slowest this thing does is about 60. Maybe I could get it a little bit slower. And this is on, I believe, yeah, low speed here. So we're getting about 800, almost 900 RPM out of low speed. And I'll give you a quick demonstration on the high speed. Uh, it's a little bit over 2,000 RPM. And then you can see the draw there with no load is uh, 3.6 amps. Slow this down and go back to low. Okay, so what we're going to do here for this demonstration is I got a flywheel. I think this is a 7, 8. This is flywheel number 9. And we're going to go ahead and uh, drill the drill the shaft through this. Uh, so I got my center drill, and uh, then I have my uh, uh, five sixteenths inch uh, jobber drill here, which I'm going to un undercut. And then for the shaft, I got a little bit oversized reamer here, and this is a I believe it's a thirty one thirty reamer uh, to fit uh, this drill rod right here. So uh, we'll go ahead and center drill it to get it started. Then we'll use the jobber drill, and then we'll f finish up with the reamer. And then we'll close this video out, and then later I'll show you how to put the set screw in. So we'll pause now, we'll turn around, and we'll show you the cutting. So previously I didn't have the tail stock in alignment, um, but I spent some time today, probably about a half an hour, getting this guy in alignment. And I got it pretty true, uh, better than the, uh, the old red. So. And anyway, we'll go ahead and start here. I didn't, get, didn't pop it into gear here. That wasn't very good. You want to cut it, redo it? No. Okay, we'll uh, pause and we'll come back with the jobber drill. Okay, here we go with the jobber drill. This is 516. Okay, guys, so starting here, I uh, had some technical difficulties. Um, all the evidence is here. You can identify what the difficulties are. I'd like to see if anybody can figure them out and let me know. Um, so anyway, the, the drilling went well, and I do think I have the uh, tailstock in pretty well alignment. 
But anyways, I'll, I'll let you guys watch finishing this cut and I'll close this video out. Uh, hopefully we can show you the flywheel a little bit later date. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you can shout out on social media, I would certainly appreciate it. All right, guys, have a nice evening.